Hey, what's up everyone? James here and we are back with Godzilla versus the Power Rangers. You guys, I don't know if I can handle any more of the amazing action we are getting in this series. This issue was absolutely incredible. All right, so here goes. The issue opens amid the Power Rangers taking the fight to Rhino Blaster, I Guy, and Gigan. The Rangers smash this city debris into Rhino Blaster as Gigan and I Guy leap towards them. Billy is unable to reach Zordon, making the Power Rangers quickly realize they're on their own in this fight. The Megazord kicks I Guy midair but then gets blasted by Rhino Blaster, damaging the Megazord's chest plate. Zack and Kimberly mention the Megazord still isn't at full strength and can't take many direct hits. I Guy blasts the Megazord with its eye lasers. Rhino Blaster rams into it and Gigan slashes it with its hooks. Though the Power Rangers are outnumbered and fighting for their lives, in my opinion, elsewhere, something worse is happening. In the Exilian's mothership, Rita is trying to bring Tommy back under her spell in order to become her personal Green Ranger once again. Rita says, you will be my Green Ranger and serve your Empress once more. By my side, you will conquer this world and so many more. Tommy replies, I'll never let you control me again. Tommy's willpower is strong enough to resist Rita's spell, at least for the time being. Rita orders Scorpina and Goldar to take Tommy back to his cell. Tommy tells Rita the Power Rangers will stop her just like they always do. Rita admits that that has always been the case, but with her monsters and the Exilians combined, they are unstoppable. Now in the last video, we learned Rita's plans after the Exilians drained this earth of its resources. Her plan was to use this universe as a staging ground to invade and conquer other universes, but that isn't just it. Rita tells Tommy after the Rangers have been destroyed, she plans to betray the Exilians and find a spell that can subjugate all the monsters in Godzilla's universe under her control. From there, we go back to the Rangers battling the monsters. I Guy and Rhino Blaster mock them as they attack the Megazord. Jason ends up diverting all the Megazord's power to the cranial laser, firing it at the monsters in order to make an opening. The Megazord sweeps their legs, knocking them off their feet, giving the Rangers some necessary breathing room. The Megazord headbutts Rhino Blaster, but then the Rangers realize Gigan is right behind them, about to land an attack. Suddenly, a blast from the ocean interrupts Gigan's attack on the Megazord. Godzilla comes out of the ocean roaring. However, Jason mentions that Godzilla is still injured from their last battle, and the Megazord detects wild radiation levels. But that doesn't matter. Godzilla proves why it's king of the monsters. Godzilla uses its prehensile tail to attack Gigan and the Megazord, then unleashes its atomic breath on Eye Guy and Rhino Blaster. And it's not done. Godzilla spears Eye Guy and goes toe to toe with Gigan. Gigan. The monsters attack back, but Godzilla unleashes another blast of its atomic breath on the battlefield, knocking all the monsters, including the Megazord, back. Zack tells the other rangers they need to find a way to communicate to Godzilla that they're on the same side. I Guy and Rhino Blaster take notice that Godzilla is getting tired and so do the rangers. As the monsters attack Godzilla all at once, Billy says he's got an idea. Godzilla feeds on energy, but its wound from the battle is bleeding pure power. Jason realizes Billy's plan and says, we need the power sword now. The rangers blast Godzilla with all of the energy of the power sword healing Godzilla. Godzilla, now fully healed, roars as it charges up its new power. Now we get the team up of the century. Godzilla uses its tail to attack Rhino Blaster. Then the Rangers use the power sword to destroy Rhino Blaster once and for all. But it doesn't even end there. Both the Megazord and Godzilla unleash attacks on Gigan and I Guy at the same time. I Guy ends up being destroyed as well. Rita, shocked to see both her monsters were defeated and that Godzilla and the Rangers are working together. She starts to complain about how bad things always happen to bad people, which I thought was pretty funny, but that isn't the end of bad news for her. Finster informs her that Gigan is running away from the battle. Rita, refusing to give up on her multiversal conquest, orders Scorpina to follow her. Rita tells the Exilian Supreme Controller she needs more monsters to attack Godzilla and the Rangers before they recover. The Supreme Controller kind of mocks her here, saying he thought her monsters were up for the challenge, and warns her that Gigan is the most compliant monster they have, and that summoning more monsters will be dangerous. Rita replies, it takes time for Fencer to create monsters, and that she doesn't care about compliance or danger, she just wants chaos. I like what the Supreme Controller says next. He complies with Rita's request, but says, like Godzilla, the Exilians are not puppets for you to control. So we're beginning to see a divide grow between Rita and the Exilians here. Rita sends Scorpina to the battlefield, ordering her to whip the monsters into shape 
and turn the tide of the battle. Scorpina, turning into her monster form, replies gladly. After defeating Rita's monsters and Gigan escaping, the Megazord and Godzilla face off. The Rangers, hoping Godzilla doesn't want to battle them, since the Megazord is only about 80% repaired. Out of nowhere, a monster flies by them. Scorpina appears in front of them with a host of the Exilians monsters. Megagirus, Kumakurus, and Kumunga. Scorpina says to the Rangers, now let's see how you and Godzilla fare against a nightmare legion of monsters. And there it is, them leaving us on a cliffhanger once again. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you like dinosaurs, check out the Jurassic League. Or if you're a fan of Transformers content, check out my playlist right here. Other than that, have an awesome day, take care, and always remember every day to go beyond.